Hey Divination, welcome to our brand new mini-series, 5 Impressive Gallery Layouts and How to Use Them. Galleries are one of the most important web design tools today. So whether you are a photographer, graphic designer or a business owner that wants to showcase their portfolio, the DV Gallery module does a very good job of that. The goal of this mini-series and all our mini-series is to provide you with free, fun and practical web design exercises that will improve your mastery of the DV WordPress theme one day at a time. So this is the final design we'll be working towards in today's quick tip. By default, Divi's gallery module has four columns. However, you may encounter situations where you'd like different number of columns. For example, in this case, we have 15 images. So with four columns, it means that we are left with one gap right here in the bottom right. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to display five, three, and even two columns with simple CSS code. So let's dive in. Let me show you how we can apply this code. Now, before we get started, there's a few things you need to have in place. First of all, we need to use 15 images for this project. And those 15 images could have roughly about uh, the size of 1,200 pixels by 1,000 pixels. And also, we're going to need some CSS code, which I'll link in the show notes below. And by the way, when it comes to the images, make sure that you use images which you have copyright or you're allowed to use because if you just use any images on the internet, you might fall into copyright issues. So the images we used here can be found on unsplash.com. So those images are free to use on your projects. All right, so let's dive in. Let me show you how we managed to build this. All right, so the first thing you need to do is to log into your WordPress admin and go into your dashboard. And then here we need to add a new page. So I'm going to go to pages and then click on add new. Right, so let's call this page GGL4. And then I'm gonna click on Use the Divi Builder and Use Visual Builder. Right, so what we need to do here is to add a single row and also a gallery module. Right, so now that we have a gallery module, next we need to add the images. Right, so I've clicked on Add to Gallery, Update Gallery. So now I can choose my 15 images. Right, so these are my 15 images. I'm gonna go ahead now and click on Add to Gallery. And then just Update Gallery. Now in a moment, you'll see that all those images I've selected will start appearing here. Now, uh, first of all, by default, we have four images selected. So we can just change that to, um, to 15. And then what we can do here, just to tidy this a little bit, we're going to click no to show title and caption and also no to show pagination. All right, so that's looking pretty cool. Now, as I mentioned before, you can see here, this is the default setting and there's nothing here that we can do to change the number of columns here. But just bear with me, I'll be showing you the trick in a bit. Okay, so what we need to do next is to go into the design tab and let's adjust the icon zoom color. So here I'm going to, I'm going to change this a little bit and use a bright orange. And then here on the hover overlay color, this is where you can adjust the um, transparency to what suits you. So I'm just going to leave mine at um, 255, 255, 255, 0.8. And you can do a quick preview by just putting your mouse over the image. Okay, so if you're happy with that, let's, let's go ahead and let's choose the hover icon picker. So look, the beauty of the gallery uh, module is you can use all these icons in your designs. So the one we're going to use here is these diagonal lines. Okay, so with that selected, it's looking pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead now and save. Okay, and we can just test it here to see if it's working. Right, so what we need to do next is to go into the row settings. So this is where now we can reduce or remove the space between the images. So to do that, what you need to do is to come here to use custom gutter width, um, activate that, and then just make sure that instead of three, we put in zero. So this takes away all the space between the images. Okay, so that's looking really cool. Right, so let's go ahead and save the changes. Okay, so now it's time to adjust these columns. So I want to go back into the module settings, and then we need to be in the CSS tab. 
Now here, the code that we're going to use needs to go into the gallery item and anything that goes into the gallery item affects all these images. Okay, so I'm going to paste the code and in real time you can see uh, that has already changed. Now we have five images and three rows. So this is pretty cool. And now here's the thing. You can actually come here and change these percentages uh, to achieve different type of columns. So let's say we want to have two columns, right? So all you have to do is change that to 50 and now we have two columns. Okay, let's change that to 33 and let's see what happens. Okay, there you go. Now we have three columns. Now here's another thing. What makes this really, really cool is it's mobile friendly. So this will look really nice on an iPad or um, any mobile device on your mobile phone. So once you're done with that and you're happy with the number of columns that we need to use, go ahead and save. And then um, before you go, if you need to uh, adjust the, the padding, you can always just uh, click and drag and just make sure that it's centered. And then all you have to do is to come here to expand settings. And then you can either save the draft or if you're happy for this uh, gallery to go live, you can just click on publish. So that does it for this quick tip. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. We will be producing daily video quick tips similar to what you've seen today. So until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.